The Hebron Hawks will never be better than they were a year ago when the football team went 16-0 and won a state championship. I think everybody knows where Hebron is now. Yeah. Yeah. But the 2006 season will also go down in history for the Hawks. This is their first season as a Class 5A team, and they're 9-1 and, and district champs. I think the biggest thing is we just try to keep things as normal as possible. We still work our practices the same. We still play with kids both sides of the football. We still try to do the things that, that we believe in. We think that uh, doing that has helped us to be a good football team. We're going to continue to work that way. This season will be especially memorable for one particular senior. Ryan Dant is the player whose job it is to literally bring the wood, which is the team's motto. But because of a disease he's had all his life, mucopolysaccharidosis, he's never been able to bring the wood the way his teammates do. He had never played in a football game, not until Hebron's regular season finale. A lot of people take like playing football for granted, but like I know he'd do anything to just play a whole game, you know? So it's like it's really important to him and it's important to us because he's a part of the team. Sometimes in life I think we, we get too locked in about how important something is, but you know, it's nothing's gonna be more important to anybody out there than Ryan Dan having a chance to run on that field. When Ryan was diagnosed with MPS1 as a three-year-old, his parents were told that he wouldn't live past 10. But through an incredible set of circumstances, the dance, with lots of help, raised enough money to fund a scientist who found a medicine that works for Ryan and others like him. He takes it through an IV once a week and it allows him to live a normal life. Somehow everything worked together where the scientists found the funding and the, and the drug and it made it to the FDA and, and now he's, he's alive. It's just, it's not possible, but it is. Ryan's been suiting up with the Hebron team ever since the semifinals of last year's playoff run, but one thing he's never done is gotten on the field with the clock running. Well, at first I thought, oh my gosh, somebody's gonna pop me really good. <laughs> but, but then I just, no, I, I didn't, I knew it'd be great for him. It'd be a lot of fun. His disease wouldn't allow him to mix it up. Ryan's play would put him in motion to the side of the field opposite from where the play was going. He's gonna wait for that. I was a little bit nervous when I first got on there, but then when he uh, did the foot thing, I got pumped and Ran to the sideline and then ran up. Hit him, Dan! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! I was about to hit someone, but there was no one near me. I was like, I was about to hit my receiver, Chris Miller, but I thought that'd be wrong. Hit my own teammate. You know, he's been talking about that for weeks, and uh, today it happened. What Ryan did on the field was insignificant to the game itself. He ran in motion away from the play. It's what he did to get on the field. That's why the crowd cheered for him and why his teammates mobbed him after. It just felt like they had thought I had did something big, running across the field and running. They thought I had did something really big because I had never played football. They thought that was really amazing. It felt really good. He earned in a different way than the other athletes earn it on the field to their sweat. But Ryan has earned his dreams by all the hundreds of tests he had to run and the MRIs and the spinal taps and the surgeries. He earned his way on the field, and these coaches knew that and gave him an opportunity. Ted Madden, Channel 8 Sports.